hi everyone welcome to our video diary log today is the last day of march it's the, it's the 31st of march 2023 and the time now here is 23 12 or 11 12 in the evening almost midnight we're almost between the 31st and the 1st uh, of april anyway um for the last three days i have been feeling down and it is because of my frustration with myself like the exercises that i do with the physiotherapy and even on days that i'm not doing my physio i do this at home with the gym it's very are very simple exercises really um but it's so difficult for me uh, with the condition that I have, I have been blessed that I have mild tremor, I have rigidity, but not as bad as um, I would have thought so. But yes, I have, I am like a robot or I'm stiff compared to the normal people. My slowness of movement is a lot better uh, especially with the medication so the tremor and the rigidity and the slowness of movement has been settled and milder ever since i have taken the madapar which now i am taking 125 milligrams um, three times a day but three days ago, I was doing the exercise at home with Jim. And basically, the exercise was, apologies for my nail, uh, the exercise was just focusing on a straight line, focusing your vision on a straight line. And you have to do on uh, one foot after another if, if that makes sense if this is your foot you have to go this foot, this foot and trying to stay on balance and that is an easy task right but it's so difficult for me my condition highlights um the my postural imbalance because with the condition, there are four major symptoms of it. The tremors, the rigidity, and the slowness of movement. And I have more, even with the medication, I still have postural imbalance. Not as bad compared to before the medication and compared to before the physiotherapy. I remember the first day that I actually did these exercises, I was so bad. I have to hold the rails and everything in order not to not to fall but now I can sustain maybe two steps or a step without holding the rail or something so I'm happy with that but I I am just very impatient with myself and it's like to tonight i am just happy to realize that you know what if there is something that this season must give you as a lesson is that be patient with yourself like every good thing takes time and you have to wait for that and even when it's not going to get better it's okay. It's not the end of life. I know I have a big God and I know that he does miraculous things and there's no doubt with that. But I am learning that even when he wouldn't heal me physically, that he does he he doesn't do coincidence he doesn't do errors and everything 
that his plan is bigger than mine, that his ways are better than my ways. And I just have to remember that because me being me, especially before all these things happen, I was just like, do the task, even how heavy it is, even how complicated it is, how difficult it is, because I can do it. Now I can't, so I have to live with that. And this condition wouldn't be gone if i'm running away from it so i need to embrace it and I, I need to work around it rather than escaping or trying to escape from it if it makes sense so basically this video diary log is just giving you an update as to what is what and um tomorrow jim and i will be meeting um the Young Onset Parkinson's Disease Society here in Nottingham. And I would give you an update as to how it, it went. And I'm pretty much excited about it. Um, being able to be with people who's going through the same struggles as we are. I say we are because this condition didn't just affect me. It basically affected us as a family, Jim and I and the dogs, of course, and even my family back home in the Philippines. And my friends also, this are, like this has affected not just one person per se, but this has affected the community, my community and everything. So I, I am looking forward to actually talking to people as to how they cope with their struggles because they are people as well that has gotten the diagnosis before the age of 40 or before the age of 50 or 60 because Parkinson's disease is quite nor is, is quite common not normal it's quite common from age 60 and above but Anyone who's diagnosed before the age of 60 is considered in to the category young onset Parkinson's disease or YOPD. So I've spoken, uh, I have, ch no, I've sent a message on um, the group asking the time, what the time was. And I stated, there, hi, my name is Kat. And I'm. I just got recent. I just recently got diagnosed um, at age thirty five, and the the man on the other line just was so polite and so friendly. And he said, "I can empathize with you because I have been diagnosed at age thirty seven, so I can empathize as to the things that you will be going through." So that is quite reassuring right that there are warriors out there who has the same condition but still going going through life like didn't just stop because they have this condition and i and i see that as a role model model i see that as an inspiration and hopefully um for anyone i know that i do, i i have a lot of bad days compared to the good days but i hope these video diary log can hopefully one way or another um be an inspiration rather than a discouragement for people who's going through struggles themselves as well so bye for now it is 23 21 almost midnight everyone and for those people who's advance uh who's more uh who's ahead of time compared to the uk time happy april 1st and i hope you have a beautiful day a beautiful evening a beautiful beautiful afternoon everyone wherever you are in the world thank you so much for watching bye bye